I want to create fun. I don't want to slow down. No. No. I'd rather, you know that saying, I'd rather die with the sword mm -hmm. in my hand than, than, than on my knees. Mm -hmm. you know. so not the sword, I'd rather with the wooden spoon mm -hmm. in my hand mm -hmm. rather than, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have to sit me in a meeting and start talking, you know, this and that, it's like, I go to sleep, but you put me in the kitchen and you say, well, let's fa fa facciamo un risottino, or you know, let's do this, un baccalà manticato, or whatever. Respiro, you know? Joseph Vergetto, chef and owner of Mr. Bianco. Joseph, first of all, Mr. Bianco, mm -hmm. the name. The name. Why? Why? It's a beautiful story, and I'll, and I'll tell you why. So, I... I grew up in Bayside, uh, Bayside, Victoria, or Bayside, Melbourne. My parents started in Richmond, like really, like, like right in the central of Richmond. They bought a small home, and then in the 70s they bought a house near the beach, um, near, well, in Sandringham, just off Bay, Bay Road. She wanted to be near, like, in, in Messina. So, she's from Messina, my dad's from Ragusa, so which is, which is Le Montagne, so Mare Monte. Um, every time they would go back home and see their parents, they would always bring back seeds, olive oil, salami, <laughs> tutte le cose per, per la cucina. And also a detergent, un detersivo, um, un, uh, un bleach, era, era, si chiamava uh, Uomino Bianco o Mr. Bianco. Mm -hmm. And I remember this as a young, young kid, I remember, you know what? Okay, Mr. Bianco, Mr. Bianco, it was like this little man <laughs> with the arms like this. I'm not sure if you remember it. Anyway, when I was trying to look for a name for here, I was looking for this product and I came across the name Mr. Bianco, which is a real town on the base of Catania, mm -hmm. on Mount Etna, Catania, Mount Etna, on the base as you're going up, and si chiama Mr. Bianco così. Mm -hmm. My il nome, it's pushed together, so mm -hmm. it's one name, Mr. Yeah, Bianco, Mr. Bianco, one name. È un vero nome siciliano. And then I said to myself, you know what? It's even much better perché in, it's the center of Messina and Ragusa. So it was like the center, and that's how the name came about. Well, I, I knew about Mr. Bianco the, the town. Mm. I didn't know about Mr. Bianco the Candegina. The Candegina, <laughs> well, ora si chiama Uomino Bianco. Mm -hmm. uh, Bianco. I was doing uh, commerce because my mum and my parents obviously being uh, immigrants and wanted, wanted, to, wanted to. me to be in un vestito volevano a me per fare come un pezzo grosso mm -hmm. you, know, have, you know, un avvocato un... and I did that, but I wasn't happy mm -hmm. and I was, went to university, I was doing commerce I was doing okay and then one day um, there was a position uh, as a kitchen hand at Florentino and I went there and I started washing dishes and the chef there at the time um, said, hey, why don't you do a cooking career? And at that time, prior, I was always in, you know, in the cucina with my mum. My dad would be outside, you know, pruning stuff and whatever else, mowing the lawn, doing man things, let's say. <laughs> but I was always next to my mum. I was sempre sotto la vestina con la mia mamma per, you know, uh, tagliare patati and, you know, fare le schiacces and I always loved cooking I was and all it took was a spark and the spark was Florentino nights speed the beauty of Florentino mural room which is upstairs the history and wanting to people to taste and wanting to people because I don't think that cooking is a job it's either you like it or you don't and it's one of these things it's like playing tennis it's either you like playing tennis or you don't um, and it's not a job, you know, it's, it, you have to put too much of your, your heart and soul into it to be a job. So I start at nine, finish at five, I go home, I don't care, go to a pub and whatever else. You either got to like it because yeah. it's one of these situations where, you know, quando fai il pane, il pane rise and oh, I have to go home. You can't. Mm -hmm. You have to watch with that bread. You have to, it's it, tutte le cose, all the, you know, la cucina yeah. come to a bimbo. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you got to act like that. E way. devi avere passione perché right. per stare qua fino a mezzanotte tutte le sere eh... Correct. No. Hospitality is one of these things that that you enjoy people you enjoy cooking, you enjoy um, making people happy 
through the mouth, through the taste of wine, through the taste of an experience and warmth. And they're the things that I love. Yeah. You know, we do some nice, we do some nice food. Because you do a lot of events as well. We do, I mean, yeah. For we instance, do. I remember once you you had a beach here. Yeah, we did, and we'll probably do that again this year as well. Sand I, all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> someone. Yeah, we had sand, and which we did last year and the year before. And I think the future for uh, for Mr. Bianco is basically to I want to create fun. Let's go and cook. Yes. Oh, yeah, let's do that. There's just a very simple recipe of, of the cavatelle. So it's you know, 300 grams of semolina, you know, uh, plain flour, eggs and water. Now flour does have gluten, it just basically has a lower, lower amount of, of gluten. So, once you get to this point, so for example, um, so if we were going to make them by hand, what we need to do is we need to roll, roll them. I'll give you one example. Then just press and you make them cosy, like little, what's the word? Um, rotolini. Rotolini. Garlic. Garlic. You heat the oil and then put the, the zucchini in. What, what happens then with the zucchini? They start to release their moisture. Mm -hmm. Put the cavatelle inside. Mettiamo un po' di pecorino. Pecorino. Per mantecare. Cavatelle, spelt cavatelle, poi un po' ancora, e questo qua è il cavatelle con la zucca. E allora io a questo punto <laughs> prendo una forchetta e assaggio. Simple, five ingredients. You screw the less and small. That's right. 